Hello everybody. I am Dr. Bhavindalal. I work as a staff physician in the Division of Pulmonary Critical Care Sleep Medicine at John D. Dingle VA Medical Center, which is affiliated with Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. And this is my co-author, Dr. Himansu Desai, who is working as assistant professor in Norfolk General Hospital, affiliated with the East Virginia Medical School in the Norfolk, Virginia. It's our great pleasure to present this article about COPD. As you know that the COPD is a leading cause of the morbidity and mortality not only in the US but all over the world. It is very important to know about the latest and greatest about a COPD now and then. In last few years, some improvements in the management of the COPD have been made owing to the new drugs and management strategies along with the non-pharmacological treatment of COPD with pulmonary rehabilitation and surgical interventions. Smoking cessation, though, is the still best strategy to prevent the COPD and prevent the further progression of the disease. There are several new articles and the review articles available online regarding the COPD, but several points make our article a little different. The first and the most important point about our article is that the full-length version of this article is completely free to download. The second important part about our article is that we are covering almost up-to-date information till April or May of 2012. Now, in this information flooded era, readers neither like to read nor have a time to read the long and boring scripts. So we have covered and compiled all the information in small flowcharts, tables, diagrams and figures. The first diagram is regarding the classification of all the medications used in the COPD and the second one covers the brief pharmacological properties about it. The third and fourth diagrams are consist of the devices which can deliver the medication and the advantages and disadvantages of those devices. Subsequent diagrams cover the step care simple approach to treat the patient of COPD. And finally, we have algorithmic approach for the acute exacerbations of COPD. I hope you will enjoy this article. Thank you.